guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, we are Louisville, Kentucky bound this morning for the National Farm Machinery Show. So, I'm just rolling solo right now. I'm going to pick up one of my buddies and uh, then we'll be headed down south. So, should be a good time. Uh, I know there's going to be quite a bit of content creators here at the farm show. Uh, maybe we can run into them and have a few words here. But, uh, yeah, it should be a pretty good time. So, I'm headed to go pick up him right now and we'll be making our way to the show. So stay tuned, hope you enjoy the video. There's Frito-Lay. Not a very nice winter day we have here. Although it's 38 degrees, so it ain't too bad, but a little overcast, been raining. I know in uh, Louisville, today's high is supposed to be close to 70 degrees, so might be nice down there. I don't know if it's supposed to rain or not, but it's gonna be a little warmer, I guess. Ready to roll? Here we go, we got a long way to go. Four hours, how many miles, 250? 400. <laughs> Hopefully we can make it down in one tank. This Ford doesn't really get the best fuel mileage. Couple people here. This place is slammed. Oh, look at this. truck here we had a long walk but uh first day of the farm show got that over with that was fun um, a lot of walking we'll be back tomorrow met a lot of good people that i've met through social media but haven't actually met in person so that was kind of fun first time we're here at the farm show he thought it was great a lot of walking we're kind of lost here but uh, we're heading back to the hotel here gonna catch some tractor pulls tonight and uh, we'll be at this farm show tomorrow Day two here at the farm show, and I just climbed up in this brand new sprayer. This thing, this thing is awfully nice. Yes, Jordan's closing the door here for me. He's gonna go check out the 1600 gallon tank he got on this thing. Yeah, it's pretty sweet. Well, it's Monday now. Uh, we're back from the farm show. We got back Saturday afternoon. So, back to work now here Monday. It's a great show. Met a lot of great people. It was a really good time. But we're back to work here. Got this freight liner sitting here idling, warming up, building up some air. I gotta go over to the rock quarry and get some, get some turkey grit because we are tiling. While I was gone, Dad got the bean planter all serviced and uh, out of the shop so that's all ready to go for planting time and uh, he also got the tile plow hooked on and ready so we're laying some tile here we got a few days good weather here before it starts to rain so we're laying some tile here around the farm I don't know if you can see the mini way out there in the field but we started digging some starts yesterday so I don't know where he is at this morning. I think he had to go somewhere to grab some connectors or I don't really know. But all I know is I gotta take the semi over and get a load of turkey grit because uh, we like to bed our starts with turkey grit. So I'm gonna go do that and uh, I'll be back to the farm. Empty weight, so just pulling in here. 
I'll grab an empty weight and then I'll go back, load up with some turkey grit, and head back to the farm. Don't overload me. I asked for 22 tons, so this should be the last little jag right here, and uh, it'll be full. Ten four. So the camera's probably not picking it up, but. Way up there, you can see scale number one and two. Well, I'm on number one, I got a red light. So when that flashes green, I'll pull up to that window, grab my ticket, hop on the road, and eastbound and down. Oh, come on. Oh, there we go. So dad's getting ready to survey the first star here. We've got five of them dug. Uh, we did that yesterday, so there's four more over there. These runs just go straight west. I'm not sure how many feet they are. Uh, I guess we'll know after the survey, but. I started to string it out here, uh, probably like, I don't know, 60 yards or so. Um, he'll do the survey, we'll hook up, and then I'll run the rest of the tile so we can kind of pull it away and we're not cutting a bunch of tile off the end there and wasting a bunch of it, so. Sounds like he's backing up a tandem right now. So we're running our survey right now and we're also mapping an AV line for the guidance. So it's all ran through. The tile stuff's through the tremble monitor and guidance gets ran through the Pro 1200. Well, we're started off here. Um, I'm gonna backfill this first start. He ran a little ways. I was standing on the tile to keep it from moving. And uh, we can go ahead and backfill this and I'll finish out stringing and he'll finish plowing. Come in a little bit. Okay. Just want to cover it. Yep, that's good. So we basically just use the turkey grit to cover up the tile and then we'll use all the rest of the dirt to fill in the hole. All the experts say that turkey grit to cover up the tile is the way to go, so that's what we're doing. Keeps it from collapsing, so. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and finish stringing here and get this laid in.
So that there was an end cap uh, that I put on the tile uh, to finish off that run. So now I'll just take a little bit of tape here, about one lap of tape around this. I'm gonna cut off the spool to keep it, just keep it held in place to prevent it from flying everywhere and making a big ball of spaghetti. Man, we couldn't ask for a better day to tile. There's no wind. Uh, what's the temperature here? 43 degrees. If it gets any warmer, I'll have to start shredding off this uh, light jacket I got on. He's running the survey for the second start. There goes run number two. All right, we're getting back in here with the second one. That's quite good. Yeah, instead of taping that tile there, uh, I don't know if you can see, I kind of wedged it around them bars on the cart. So I usually like to tape it if I'm going to travel a little ways, but since we're just going back and forth here, instead of wasting all that expensive tape, just wedge it through the bars and chill ride. I think we're going to run out of tile here before we get to the end. Actually, take that back. Maybe not. I guess we'll find out. So we're stringing out the third star here. And uh, if we run out of tile before we get to the end, we'll have to, no, we're not gonna run out of tile. Who am I kidding? But the next one, we're gonna have to get a new spool. So we'll have to do a connection there. And uh, we'll, we'll cross that bridge when we get there. So before you hook onto a new spool, you gotta latch this. So you just spin this around, get that latched right there. And then I folded this back piece around so that I can flip this to the ground, take that top piece off, and then, then I can spear a new uh, roll of tile. Whoops. Actually, I'm gonna lift that up just a little bit. So the tile's not dragging on the ground. Pull forward, and then I gotta let it back down because I gotta put that uh, top piece on. And I have forgotten to put that on before. And you can't unspool a tile without that thing on the top. All right, I got that flip back out. Uh, we do have to cut all these strings here and we'll be ready to roll. So to hook up the two pieces there uh, from the different spools, because we ran out, we only had like maybe 30, 40 foot, and I went and got this other spool. All I had to do was grab one of them connectors down there, it's in a crate, that we got mounted on the front of that uh, cart, and just hook them together, hook the two pieces of tile together, run some tape around it, and you're good to go. So not much to it. Stringing out the fourth run here, and uh, looks about like lunchtime here after this run. So all I had to do to hook these two together was take one of these, flip it on one end of the tile, flip it on the new piece of tile, and then just tape it all up, keep on stringing. five of these ran and backfilled. So now it's time to eat lunch. And then after lunch, we'll do these five on this side. So we're digging a start here. And uh, here's the six inch tile that we laid. Uh, Dad laid that while I was gone. But uh, we'll cut a hole in the bottom of this, plug a connector in it. And he's making enough room to set the plow in this trench. Set the plow in here, feed in the four inch tile on the plow. Hook it into this six. So we got four more to do after this. So I got my hole cut out, got that 
connector in there. He's about to do a survey and I gotta go get the tile. So we're connected here. I'm staying on the tile. He's gonna start trenching here a little ways. You always wanna stand on it like that so it doesn't pull the tile and stretch it out and pull it out of that connector. So now we're all set up here and now I can string and he can, he can lay it in. Well, we just finished off our last run right here. Um, it started way back over there by that skid steer and ran along the yard, came across the end. And uh, this little project here on the south side of the house is complete. So now we're gonna take everything uh, kind of in the back corner of this field and uh, park it because that's where we'll start in the morning. Well, that's gonna wrap up today's video. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it if you hit that thumbs up. Uh, also, click that sub button, and we'll catch you guys next time.